What is up, people? Video Game XD, and we are back with another video. Today on Gamer Grabs, I went to Disc Replay in Flint, Michigan. Check out your local Disc Replay, movies, electronics, much, much more. You know the deal. Disc Replay, great place for video games. Um, spent about like 40 bucks. Had some Christmas money I wanted to spend. I ended up buying Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered for the Xbox One, and they charged me $40 for it at Meijer. Yeah, I felt like I got ripped off because that literally get, that game is literally like $25 everywhere else. So I returned it, and I went to Disc Replay, so I got some retro classics. So uh, the first game I got... Um, my stepson actually got me this. It was it was a kind of like a Christmas present for seven ninety nine. I've never owned this game for the original Xbox. It is Fight Club. Uh, I don't know much about this game. I remember when it came out though. It got like okay reviews, I think. And I remember you can unlock Fred Durst from Limp Biscuit in the game, which is awesome. Because growing up, I was a pretty big Limp Biscuit fan. In the late 90s, early 2000s era. And Fred Durst is a big Fight Club guy. Uh, it is complete with manual, which is awesome. And disc condition is pretty damn good. Uh, I do like the movie Fight Club. It's a pretty badass movie. I do like it. It's a 90s classic. And I did not own the video game. So thank you, Jaden, for a Fight Club on the OG Xbox. This is awesome. The next game for the OG Xbox, for $3.99, it is Legends of WrestleMania 2. So this is the sequel to the first game. Um, I'm going to be honest, these games weren't really all that special. They weren't that great. Um, Gameplay-wise, they were like pretty shitty, I'm not going to lie. It was from Acclaim, so they were known for mediocre slash shitty games. I mean, it's cool, don't get me wrong, you got like all the legends in the game, like Hogan, Andre the Giant, Roddy Piper, Scott Steiner's in it, even Andy Kaufman is in the game, like they, they did try bringing all the legends in the game, and it, I just I remember the gameplay just not being that good, that was the thing, and the graphics were really like cartoony looking, but it, it it's not bad, it's just not like great either, I would say the third game, Showdown, was the best one out, out of all of them. But uh, I remember Legends Wrestling 2 and the first game were just, like, okay. Um, but I, I didn't have it on the OG Xbox. And I'm a wrestling collector. Uh, it is complete. I do believe I have this on the PS2, though. Disc, uh, pretty good. Yeah, like I said, these games weren't the greatest. But, you know, I'm a, I'm a wrestling fan. I like that. Even games that are shitty, I like to own if they're wrestling. Because uh, I like old school WWF, WCW, Legends Wrestling, you know. So this is pretty cool. Four bucks, I'm not going to complain. Oh, on DVD, I actually got this at Walmart. Um, yeah, it is WWE Ruthless Aggression Volume 1. So this uh, just came out not too long ago, which I, I kind of forgot it even came out. It wasn't really advertised. I didn't see it advertised, really. And I'm glad this came out because, you know, they've been pushing the Attitude Era stuff with WWE for eight years. But I feel like the Ruthless Aggression Era kind of gets overshadowed by the Attitude Era, which, don't get me wrong, I'm an Attitude Era kid. I love the Attitude Era. But the fucking Ruthless Aggression Era was great, too if not better than the Attitude Era. Like, wrestling-wise, the Ruthless Aggression Era had better wrestling than the Attitude Era. Uh, for some reason, it's just it's just not as memorable as the Attitude Era, and it kind of got overshadowed, which is a shame because literally the Ruthless Aggression Era is like my entire teenhood era. Like, literally from like 12, 13, all the way to 18 years old. Like, I, I don't even think I ever missed an episode of Raw or SmackDown during that time period. Like, it was literally my entire fucking life. Like, this era. So, it's a two-disc set. Uh, I've watched 
the first disc, and I'm very impressed. Apparently this is on the WWE Network, which I don't have the network, because, I don't know, I think it runs like shit half the time. It always freezes, and I hate that shit. But uh, apparently this was already on WWE Network or something. And I'm glad they brought it to DVD, because this era, I'm telling you, the Ruthless Aggression era from like 02 to 07 was like one of the best eras in wrestling history, in my opinion. Uh, you got the Rise of John Cena on here, Enter Evolution, you know, the next big thing, Brock Lesnar, how he blew up. It's just a, it's a documentary series. There's, I don't think there's any matches on here, which is a shame because it would be cool if they actually had a third disc with matches, but they don't. But it's more of a documentary. But I'm cool with that. So, um, for people who did not grow up in this era, it is a, it's a great history lesson, I would say. Great fucking DVD. I am loving this. So glad I picked it up. It was only 15 bucks. 15 bucks at Walmart. Damn worth it. Wish the case was a little bit better. They put in cheap cases now. Remember the old WWE cases when there were digipacks and they would fold out, you know? Those days are dead. They're cheap now and they're trying to get rid of DVDs. So I'm just glad it, it it's on DVD, period. Um, it says Volume 1, so hopefully a Volume 2 will be released as well. For the original Xbox for $9.99, 10 bucks. Oh shit, it is NBA Street Volume 2. This was one of my favorite basketball games probably ever made. Um, some people love the first one as well. Some people love Volume 3 too, which I do like Volume 3. But I always thought Volume 2 was the best one. And I think many would agree with me. Um, I don't know, this game was like arcade basketball to the max it was just it was kind of like nba imagine like nba jam which i love nba jam but this took it to the next level you could do way more moves in this game than uh nba than you could in um like nba jam there was different like tricks you can do and um just remember being a little bit more advanced compared to like nba jam but it was still arcade style it was still fast and wacky you know cartoony looking but uh, it was from EA Big back when EA was good. Now they fucking suck. They need to bring back the Street Series. The last Street they came out with, I think, was on the PS3. And that Street was actually not that bad. Home Court, not that bad of a Street game. But doesn't come nowhere near the OG um, Street game. So it's not complete, which sucks. But I had it on the PS2, but I wanted it for the OG Xbox. 10 bucks, Platinum Hits Edition. But whatever. For the Nintendo 64. Haven't picked up an N64 game in a minute. I did not have this. For $16.99. NFL Blitz 2001. Uh, my favorite one was probably 2000 on the Dreamcast. I think, I think that one looked the best. And... Um, played exactly like the arcade version and um i do have it on ps1 2000 i got them all this was the only one i think i was missing on the n64 because so i do have 2001 on the ps1 uh, i don't have it on the dreamcast though i have 2000 on the dreamcast but i didn't own 2001 on the n64 and i 16.99 that ain't too bad of a price it's got some stickers crap on it but i can get I can get that off. Other than that, it's a good condition copy. I'm happy with it. NFL Blitz was great back in the day. I missed the arcade football games. Now everything's simulation. Screw that. I'm going back to the 90s when football games were fun. Alright, so the last game for the Nintendo 64, another N64 game, for $6.99. It was only 7 bucks. Pretty good deal. Very condition, good condition copy. Um, Toy Story 2. My brother used to own this game. I think he used to rent it at uh, Family Video all the time. Or maybe he owned it too, I can't remember. This was back in the 90s. I was like 9 years old, you know. Um, yeah, he used to rent it all the time and we used to play it. And uh, it's only a one player game, but 
I remember it being pretty fun. I don't think I like it as much as uh, Toy Story on the Super Nintendo, but this was more like an open, I guess an open world type Toy Story game. You could actually walk around and discover things and shit like that. Whereas the first game was just a side stroller. So I did not uh, have it though on the N6 N64, believe it or not. But now I do for $7. So those were all my pickups. Toy Story 2 on the N64. NFL Blitz 2001. NBA Street Volume 2. Ruthless Aggression WWE Volume 1. Such a great DVD. I lo I'm loving that DVD. It's bringing back memories. Um, Legends of Wrestling 2. And Bike Club. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow Video Game XD on Twitter. Follow us on Twitch. Like us on Facebook. And don't forget, coming soon, the 400 free subscriber Video Game XD giveaway right here on Video Game XD. I will will be giving out a free console and something extra. So stay tuned for the free giveaway. It's coming soon. And don't forget, Christmas is coming up, so I'm going to be doing a lot of Christmas editions of Gamer Grabs, Movie Grabs, and what I got for Christmas, stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. This is Video Game XD. I'm Charles Reed. Happy Holidays.